Hello everyone, welcome to the third Cycling Tips field test event. I'm Cycling Tips Head of Tech, James Huang, and we are mixing it up this time around. Instead of flying everyone all over the country to go test bikes somewhere, we are here at our US headquarters in Boulder, Colorado, where there is thankfully no shortage of riding adventures straight out the front door. We have 10 bikes for our field test this year, ranging from brand new bikes to older bikes to really old bikes. We've got road bikes, we've got gravel bikes, we've got flat bar gravel bikes. We have some bikes that are so new, we can't even really show them to you yet, at least not for another few days or weeks. We're gonna be answering a whole bunch of questions during this year's field test event, including how much trouble is the bike industry really in moving forward based on how good road bikes have been already? Are flat bar gravel bikes really a thing? What's the single best upgrade you can make to any gravel bike? How much of a pain in the butt are fully integrated front ends anyway? To help us answer all those questions, we have four testers with us this time around. We have myself, we have Cycling Tips Editor-in-Chief Kaylee Fretz, we have Cycling Tips Social Media Editor Mike Better, and then we also have freelancer extraordinaire Dan Cavallari. We're gonna be testing all these bikes on a wide range of terrain from glass smooth tarmac to packed dirt to rough gravel to single track to really maybe kind of a bunch of stuff that we maybe shouldn't be taking some of these bikes on anyway. We are also gonna be rolling out a whole bunch of this content over the next few weeks from individual reviews to roundtable discussions where we're all gonna to get together and discuss various topics until we all agree that I'm right. I forgot what I was saying. Um, <laughs> We're also gonna have a whole bunch of this written content on cyclingtips.com, so you wanna make sure you check out that homepage as well. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please make sure you do so, so that you don't miss any of the upcoming content. I do wanna point out that none of the brands that we are reviewing here have paid for any of these reviews, so our conclusions are impartial. We do have a few presenting sponsors that I do want to give thanks to, which include Sierra Nevada Beer, Pearl Izumi, Lead Out Gear, Rudy Project for helmets and sunglasses, and Park Tool. We also have a handful of supporting sponsors who have helped us put this on, including Pro Bike Gear, Spur Cycle, The Freshly Minted. And to help keep us all fed and hydrated while we're testing, we have stuff from Scratch Labs, Wild Brand Foods, and Little Secrets. With that all said, thanks to all of our sponsors. Thanks to you for watching. As I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you come back to cyclingtips.com regularly for all the coverage. And in the meantime, we've got a whole bunch of bikes to test, so I gotta go. We'll see you soon. <laughs>